Hello and welcome back to Pandemic Playground with Dave. Today we have a random build for you guys and that is the T01 L3T Jet Fighter. Alright, so I saw a few comments about making a toilet jet fighter so I randomly just made it for fun. So this is the design I kind of just put together, I was just building it for fun and it just came out pretty okay, it wasn't too too bad. And unfortunately, I didn't time lapse it because I thought I was just going to mess around and just build it. But it did take me an hour or two to kind of build it out, design it a bit, paint it and all that stuff. So, oh wells. But it was a fun little build here to make such a thing. Because um, you had to kind of think about how to make such a toilet on a small grid fighter like this. Alright, so the basics of this, let me just copy this and show you guys exactly what's going on here. So this thing here, and it's actually working a lot better than when I first initially did it because when I first built it, the whole entire thing was drooping down. So it wasn't holding the weight for some reason and we had more than enough upward thrusters. But it's fixed now after a quick restart, so that kind of all worked out pretty well. Alright, so this guy is based of small grid. Lots of armor plating as you see here, some windows, landing gears, a ton of thrusters. We have some Gatlins, missiles, we have a connector in the bottom, and of course we have the famous toilet seat. So how did I put the toilet seat together with a small grid? Well that is where it was a little bit hard to think about, and if you just look through it, you can't really see it too well. But if you really take a very close look, you do see a large grid block here, and it's a slope block. So that was the only way to really do it, but how am I attaching this slope block onto this small grid like this? And the answer is actually fairly simple, and that is something we've been doing recently, and that is attaching it to a small grid rotor on a large grid rotor head. So I'm just going to delete these blocks here so you can see that. Then so we put a advanced rotor right here, which is the large advanced rotor head. And we put the advanced rotor, the small grid version, right inside of it. You can't see it this way, but if we go to the spectator mode, you should be able to see it from there. Alright, so here. So that's the head, and right in here is the, the small grid advanced rotor. So the small grid advanced rotor is still fairly large. Um, it is a full large grid kind of cube like looking like thing. So it would be this here. So it's still pretty big in the sense of um, what it is. But this head it was changed out for the large version. So that's why you see this 180 tag thing swinging out there which is this piece here. So that's pretty much how I connected it. And then with that done, I kind of wrapped everything around this large grid slope block here. And it just looks very flushed in that way. So it was an interesting way of doing it. Alright, so that's pretty much how I put it all together. So a large advanced rotor head, a small advanced rotor, and put a slope block. And then with that done, I put the toilet seat on top and locked the rotor itself. Um, put the limits, lower limits and upper limits to the lowest it can or zero actually and just built around it and if, of course it worked out fairly well once you get it to be completely zilled out so you see here you got some large grid armor plates as well just for um, random wing design and everything else here in the front is all small grid and of course this thing is not airtight whatsoever it was unfortunate I couldn't get it to get airtight um, for many reasons. One is because it's large grid and small grid. But if I built a whole thing around it, then yes. But then it's, it's a little bit too big for what I would want it to do. And also there's a bit of a gap here because we cannot put any blocks in between here. Only because of the armor plates here. So I just wrap things around like that just for design purposes, for fun. And I made a little bit of a hatch door here. The hinge hatch door here. So when we sit in here... Um, it'll close from the top and just protects you. It's not. It's just more for protection. It's not airtight. And of course, the two computers, which I thought I might need for programming blocks, 
to um, be viewable as well. So if we jump inside, this is what we see initially. But if we close the doors, so yeah, so we had to remote into this as well because it's a toilet seat. <laughs> There's no controls within the toilet seat. And the antenna in front was for the remote control at the same time too. So I get some range on it. And I was trying to make it into somewhat of an aiming system, but it kind of failed there. But putting the hinges together. So if we do it this way, you'll see if I close the hatch, you'll see the computers come up as well. Right, so that's a bit of a cool design to it. It's nothing too fancy or anything crazy, but you can always set these computers to display different things, I believe. And let's see here. Yeah, you put content here, text, images, um, scripts, whatever you want here. You do text images. You could probably do some editing of your own. Or if you put scripts, you could put like the clocks, gravity, velocity, things like that. That's very helpful. But this, yeah, this fighter is not airtight. There's some protection, but it's the ultimate drone type of spacecraft or, or fighter ship, jet, jet fighter we can make here. And it's got quite the design, so every little thing that gets destroyed is probably going to be hard to replace. But this thing flies pretty well, as you see here. We can reach 100 meters per second fairly quickly because we have four thrusters going forward. And we have enough to pull ourselves up and fly pretty fast. But this thing does also have weapons. So we got some missile launchers, the reloadable missiles here. And we also have a Gatlin gun. So that's going to help shoot while we're sitting in this toilet in that sense. This thing flies okay. It has two gyroscopes, but it still takes a bit of maneuvering because it is housing um, three large grid items. So it does take a lot to keep these things moving. But for the most part, this jet fighter was fun to make and it worked out pretty well, to be honest. It took some time to kind of think about how to do it, but it worked. And right now I'm just flying and kind of about to destroy my hinge elevator here. <laughs> and ooh, oh, that was close. <laughs> but yeah, so here's a successful kind of make of a toilet seat jet fighter or well, I'm coining it as the T01 L3T jet fighter. All right, so if you did enjoy this random build, hit that thumbs up, like the video. If you haven't done so already, consider subscribing to the channel, hit that notification bell. Feel free to drop a comment or two down below. And of course, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.